I'm at work, gonna do my makeup. I made my coffee. Okay, so today I thought I am going to switch it up a little bit for my girl Tracy. I'm gonna do my foundation first and then I'll do my eyes. Typically, I've been doing my eyes first, but there has been a time in the past where I did my foundation first. I don't know what happened that made me switch, but because I know Tracy does, Tracy's my friend, I know that she does her foundation first. I'm going to do that for her. So let me grab everything and I will be right back. For my makeup today, I have my BK Beauty Travel Kit as well as my Sonia G travel bag that I've shown before. And I brought both of these because I have some new brushes that I want to try um, and focus on. And they are full size brushes. Even though I think they could have fit into the BK thing, I figured that I would just um, put them in something else. So the brushes that I want to try are the Anissa Beauty eye brushes. Now I do have quite a few of their face brushes like foundation, bronzer, things like that. So I brought those along too so that I can use those and give you my opinion on them. So since we're doing the face first, I'm going to start with my Fenty Beauty primer. And I'll also tell you about my photo shoot because it was like a full on photo shoot. So I got new professional photos done. And the reason I did, there are a couple of reasons, but the reason I chose the person that I did to do the photo shoot is that a previous office assistant is now this photographer's assistant and I just love this person and I trust her judgment so I was like okay if she's working there then you know let me give it a shot so I went the other day and I did a pretty like neutral found or neutral eyeshadow look I used the Viseart neutral mattes palette just like some browns and then I did a glossy lip with the Christian Audette and Tara Lynn gloss in gray which it's a great gloss um, especially for women of color and I had my hair up it was sort of like this but it was sort of in a bun and we had three different outfits chosen and like the pictures like this wasn't just your typical that kind of photo it was like I was laid out on the couch I was holding a coffee mug I was like this like it was, it was cute I haven't seen the photos yet so oh Jesus God <sighs> I hope they came out good but she seemed to think they did um so this is the Pinnacle Foundation Brush from Anissa Beauty. So this is what I'm going to use with my foundation. And I have the Fenty Mini Soft Matte Foundation and I have it in the shade 450. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush, a lot of it. And go in. So we started out with some like test photos, right? Like she, the photographer asked me to come in my first outfit, which was a dress, um, like a burgundy dress. She asked me to come in that. And so we started like as soon as I walked in. Um, so she did some test shots. First she was like, okay, turn this way. And you know, I had to turn. And then she was like, turn this way. And I was like, okay. And she was like, do you have a preferred side? And I was like, no, I don't think so. And she was like, yeah, you look good from both uh, both angles. And I was like, I know. That's literally how the photo shoot started. <laughs> but I was just like, nah, girl, I think both sides look good. So go on and snap your photo. Shoot. So... It was only an hour 
and we did a lot like I had a burgundy dress and then my second outfit was like this really bright like marigold shirt with some like small plaid paint like the pattern was small plaid pants and some heels and then um the last outfit was another dress this time it was like a wrap dress that's just like this beautiful color but y'all i was sweating the whole time i was like i don't know how models do it like i was so hot that i was really glad i didn't overdo it with the makeup because i think it would have just like not turned out really well because yeah it was just i was first of all it was a hot day but then it was just kind of hot in the studio and i like to be cool i don't like to be hot so i think that was also part of it okay Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of this Becca and Smashbox um, corrector. This is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Dark. I'm take that, and I'm taking the Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush. I just want to put a little bit of that down. So I think it brightened it a little bit. Let me know if you see a difference. I'm still learning really how to use this. I've never really used a corrector consistently. Um, I've had one from e.l.f. and I've had one from NYX, but just never really used them consistently. So I'm newer to the corrector game, but I just want to give myself a bit of a brighter look. One reason is that I have a full day today, but I think only one of my folks is coming in person. Everyone else is on video today. Um, so I want to look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I've got the like bushiness going, so I just need to get the bright-eyed. Now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and this is in the shade 430. So I think the photo shoot went well. I really differentiated to the photographer that these are like professional photos, but I might want to do like some personal ones, like some real sexy ones. Um, because she was asking if I wanted to like take any of the photos and put them on my wall. But like, no matter how self-centered I can be, I don't think I want a big ass photo of myself in my office. And I also don't think I want a big ass photo of myself, like a professional like business photo in my house or in my bedroom or something. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Now, if and when I do the sexy photos, I definitely want that up in my house. Listen, I can't wait to look so good. Oh, using the same angled concealer brush. The other thing is like, you know, the photographer had me posing different ways and then they started playing like some old school music. So I'm having a good old time. And I was like, um, make sure I look snatched. And she didn't know what that means. <laughs> So me and her assistant, who knows me, her assistant was like, you're always snatched. I'm like, yes, girl, that's why I love you. Um, we were trying to explain it to her. And then the thing is, I'm just like so used to grinning that every time the photographer asked me to be serious, like to have like a closed mouth smile, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so every time she asked, I would start cracking up laughing. It was the weirdest thing. She would be like, serious, be serious. And I'm like, <laughs> so I'm thinking she didn't get very many serious, you know, smaller smiles from me. I think every picture is me like, uh, so I get to see them, um, I think in a little over a week to pick them out and everything. 
But what I really enjoyed too about this photographer is that she was smiling the whole time and that just made me smile. So I don't know if that was purposeful or what, but I was like, okay, I'm enjoying this. Okay, y'all, I kind of look like I got some sleep, right? <laughs> All right, so put that back. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty powder. This is in the shade Honey. It's so crazy because I was watching Morgan Turner. Um, I think just one of her uh, reels on Instagram. And she said she like hates this powder. And I was like, oh, what? This is like my new favorite powder. Like, I think I like it more than my Laura Mercier. Ooh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the Anissa Beauty brushes. I think the way I initially found out about Anissa Beauty was maybe through Tina, the fancy face. She used, like, I think their foundation brush and their uh, concealer brush, and I was really intrigued. So I went ahead and got the concealer brush first, and then over time, I've just sort of built up with some of the other face brushes, which I will be sure to use all of them. So you have seen me use the concealer brush and the foundation brush, yeah. Now they just, like last week, came out with eye brushes. All they had before were the face brushes and the skincare brushes. Now these are the four eye brushes. As soon as I saw them, I was like, these are weird like I don't know I'm not used to them so I have these brushes to do my eye makeup but I also have <laughs> my Sonia G and BK Beauty like travel set because just in case that I don't know so let me tell you a little bit about them they're described as an essential eyeshadow brush set featuring four unique must-have brushes to create any eye look. These vegan eye brushes were designed with pros and beginners in mind and created with innovative and intuitively shaped brush heads to help do the work for you. From a soft daytime look to a smoky eye, these brushes will have your go-to eye looks covered. So the first brush is their eye primer brush. This is how it looks. And then here is like the brush head. Hopefully you can see that. And it says that this perfectly pairs with all formulas of eyeshadow primers and concealers. The way it's described is it's a primer brush with a scoop shaped brush head designed to effortlessly prime the lids for long lasting eyeshadow. This eye brush is a is designed with soft vegan bristles to place and sweep primer across the lids to prep for any eyeshadow giving you a highly pigmented crease free shadow so lots of claims what I'm going to do is use this shape tape by Tarte their prime pour and prime balm that's what I've been using at work to prime my eyes so you can see this is how it looks and I'm gonna tap into this Got it on there. Okay, feels nice. Okay, I think something like a balm, this works well. I say that because I tried this with a dryer primer yesterday and I was like, mm, no thank you. It was with the Natasha Denona work and set, but something like a balm or a creamier consistency, I think will work well. So that does feel like it's 
I mean, it looks good, right? So as I move on to the other brushes, let me grab my eyeshadow. So I put together a little palette last night with my kit pack. So typically, like the night before I come into the office, I'll like pick out some colors and things that I think I want to use the next day. And this one features Hindash, Melt Cosmetics, and Lethal Cosmetics. So I've got my bronzer from Lethal and also a potential blush. These are also blush shades or what I'll probably use for blush shades from Hindash. Um, I depotted the Monochromance and the Butopsy palettes, both of them, and I took two and put them here. And then all of these shades are from um, Melt Cosmetics, the Amor y Mariposas uh, eyeshadow palette. So I just popped a bunch of shades in there. The other thing that I did is that I labeled, let's see if I can show you. I labeled the back with the shade name. Can you see that? Because the backs of the pans don't have the name or anything on them. And so I like to put them back in the same space that they came in. So you can see, I just use a label maker and put the shade name on here. This one is Abuelita, which means grandmother or like granny. Um, so I did that for all of the shades that are currently in here. So when I go home, I can pop them right back where they are supposed to be in the palette. Don't know if you want to know that. Okay. Now the next brush is the Eye Crescent Crease Brush. I have never experienced an eye brush like this. The way it's described is a crescent shaped eyeshadow brush designed with a curve that makes defining the crease intuitive and easy for all eye shapes. This unique brush is made to cup the crease of any eyelid shape created to help guide where to place and blend products to deepen the crease for eye definition. So they suggest that you load the brush head with product and start by placing the brush head on the center of the crease and use gentle pressing motions then windshield wiper motions. I don't know if this is gonna be good for every eye shape, but I'm gonna try it. So, um, uh, <laughs> why don't we, um, <laughs> why don't we start with this shade here? Um, is that Abuelita? No, I'm sorry. This is Nueva Vida. New Life. So they said to load up. Okay. I'll often initially try to use a brush in the way a brand suggests. And then if that doesn't work, or even if it does, I'll go ahead and do my own thing. Um, But this works surprisingly better than I thought. And this is such a pigmented shadow that I don't even think I need to go back in. I'm not mad at it. So that was Nueva Vida. Um, I think I want to use more. So I'm going to go into this shade Nube. It's like a deep purple and do the same thing. Load up the brush head
oh my god you guys are so funny so in my other video i asked what it means if like your nose is always itching and i can't remember who but the comment had me like howling laughing they said what that when their nose itches it means they have to trim their nose hairs and i fell out <laughs> I'm like, is that what it means? I thought it meant like something with money. Or is that your palm itching? Okay. This next brush is the Eye Fan All Over brush or Eye All Over Fan brush. And it is described as a large plush shadow brush designed for effortless all over eye application. This multifunctional eyeshadow brush is designed with a unique fan shape to easily place, place and press the product into the lids for any eyeshadow look. So its suggested use is to load the brush head with product and for all over shadow applications start by placing product on the center of the eyelid and use gentle sweeping motions to blend and to build intensity you can just gently pat so let's try I'm gonna go in with one of these shimmers This is Sagrado. I'm going to go into that. Got some on there. And so it's definitely giving more of a subtle. But as you know, I'm fine with going in subtle and then building up intensity. So this brush, it's not going to give you that intensity right off the bat, doesn't seem like. But I like the way it feels and the way it sort of conforms to the shape of the eye. Feels like it gives a little one of those wash of color kind of things. So I'm putting the shimmer all over. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It's cute. So I'm going to go back into that deep purple and bring some of that back. So I just flipped it. I want to see how that works. And rather than using that fan brush, I'm going to go in with my finger and see if that does anything different with the shimmer. I mean, a, sh a finger application is always going to be different than a brush application. Okay, let me do the other eye and then we'll get to like cleaning stuff up and putting on the rest of my face. I will be right back. Okay, so I actually went in with my BK Travel 202 and used that to sort of blend out the edges here. And then I put a bit of concealer on... Um, here <laughs> uh, to kind of clean that up a little bit and used 
the Sonia G. Kiyaki Jumbo Worker to blend that out. So as I do my brows and the rest of my face, let me tell you what I think about these brushes. And there's still one more brush for me to use, but I will use that before I'm completely done. Now, these brushes, I'm a little surprised to read that they were purportedly like designed for pros and beginners because as like, I don't know how a beginner would use these. I feel like they're more advanced. It could just be me and the fact that I'm used to more traditionally shaped brushes, but I find my Sonia G and my BK, like the travel ones, I find those brushes so much easier and maybe for me a bit more intuitive. Um, than these Anissa Beauty brushes. Now what I will say is that I do love the Anissa face brushes. I like those a lot more than I like the eye brushes. I think if you're used to various eye brushes, you have a ton of them, and you just want to try something different, then I would definitely say yeah go ahead and give these a try but if not i don't think that they are the best buy for someone who's beginning again i don't know if that's because i'm just used to the other brushes but just some of the shapes and my eye shape also because that's going to play a role i just don't find them easier to use i did kind of like being able to stamp on um the shadow with the crease brush but i'm not necessarily always looking for that precise of a crease i like to kind of have a blended out crease so I don't know I'm gonna have to keep playing around with them but that's sort of like my first impression of them um, the last brush in the little group is the eye pinnacle brush so it is shaped just like the foundation brush let me show you Here's the foundation brush and you saw me use that so there's the eye pinnacle brush and then this set actually came with a gift with purchase and that is the travel pinnacle foundation brush so they all have this rect or rectangular triangular <laughs> shape Now this brush is described as an eyeshadow brush designed with our signature triangular domed brush head to define the eyes with delicate control and ease. This brush offers perfectly balanced density, flexibility, and precision made for multiple uses ranging, uses ranging from creating a smoky shadow look or filling in the brows. Basically, they say the same as the other brushes, load the brush head up with product, and you can blend gel or pencil liners. Um, you can place the brush on the lash line. You can fill in the brows. So why don't we do some liner and then use the brush to smoke it out. So this is the Lorac liner. I'm going to take this brush and go in with that deep purple. You can see it on there. This definitely does hug the lash line very nicely. Okay, I'm kind of liking this one. I will say they are certainly innovative with their shapes. Okay, I can't lie. This might be my favorite brush of the bunch. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and use more of the bigger brushes, the face brushes. So I'm taking this, this is their buffing bronzer brush. I'm tapping into my bronzer powder from Lethal. You can see it on there. It's a pretty pigmented bronzer. If you haven't used the Lethal Face Powders, I definitely recommend. I really enjoy them. Now, I don't have any like blush brushes from the brand, but I think what I'll do is go in with the travel sized foundation and I'm going to dip into that lethal blush. Some of the lethal powders remind me of Danessa Myrick's products where you only need a little bit and you don't want to go too ham with it. I like this as a blush brush. Blush brush. Say that five times fast. Okay, so I went in with the Colored Rain uh, lip liner in Queen Tings and I paired that with a, an Urban Decay lipstick. It's one of their Comfort Matte Vice lipsticks in the shade After Dark. And the last brush from Anissa Beauty that I'm going to use is their Multi Powder Brush. So you can see that this is shaped like that eye fan brush. I've actually really enjoyed using this. And I'm going to use this pressed powder from Laura Mercier to just finish everything off. Okay, so here is the finished look. I feel like it actually came together pretty well. Huh. I like it. What do you think? Now, I think the Eye Pinnacle brush is my favorite. I really like how the shape allows me to create this sort of winged look, which I always love. That was super easy without even using, I have a liquid liner I could have used and I didn't need to use that. Okay, so let me know what you think of the brushes. They're cool. I don't think you need them. Um, maybe if I use them more, I'll fall in love with them. I do really like the Eye Pinnacle brush. I like the way it gave me this sort of winged out look without much fuss. Like, that was really, really easy. I feel like I like my other brushes better. These are just shapes I'm not used to. I don't think they're beginner friendly, but... I'm not sure because <laughs> some beginner might be like, oh my God, this is perfect. This really helps. I think I just am really used to my other eye shapes and prefer those a bit more. But I definitely know I'm going to be using that eye pinnacle brush a lot more. That was cool. I really like that. Let me know what you think. Hopefully some of this was helpful. Uh, I hope you are taking care of yourself. Yes, I'm taking care of myself and that includes getting some pizza tonight that I'm really excited about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.